Hey YouTube. Uh, I wanted to do a review on this guy, this experimental artist named Philip Jack. The album's called Sand and it was released in 2008 on Touch Records. And I just learned this today. This was just one of those albums I kind of just picked up at random from the local music store, put it on, like, oh, this is pretty. Uh, it's actually an uh, experimental artist who... He was born in 1952 and he's English. He's a multimedia composer and I guess for this album he just used uh, some old turntables and some broken, dusty used records and uh, decayed sound and stuff. And I read uh, online it says he only uses like the... Uh, end of records, like the end hiss and some like random sampled noise, but he just wants to layer the hiss at the end of a record and layers it and stuff, and it was really cool because he uses uh, only these uh, turntables from the 1960s, so they have uh, all these different beats per minute on ours that only have two, and he's got all these ones that go down like from 17 upwards to like, I think went to like 82 or something, but it was like, so you could really slow down and speed up whatever broken records he's experimenting with the end of them with. And I also read that he's putting all these through like a mixer and like all these different guitar pedals and stuff like that. And he also has on a couple tracks from a Casio piano to accompany it. So it's a very, very unique way to make music just to use like the end of records and experiment with all that hiss and stuff. He makes all this kind of like dynamic ambient music with like, uh, you know, like it's kind of murky music with like moments of clarity and stuff like that. And all these like weird textures and layers and hissing and crackling and chimes and bells and sounds you'd never really be able to recognize really like unrecognizable just kind of like hums and tunes and stuff like that kind of sounds like I guess what it would sound like if you're inside some sort of like slow boiling cauldron and stuff like it's all calm and you're bubbling up and stuff like that and like it all kind of has this build up but it's also it's got this very like ambient undertone it kind of matches the cover where it's had this weird rug and it's like a tapestry and it's all interwoven together and stuff but yeah, I didn't know anything about this guy until today. I didn't pick up this album today. I've had it for a few months and I've listened to it and it's just kind of like pretty little Tim Hecker finesse music, you know, but yeah, he's born in 1952. I thought it was like a new guy to be experimenting at turntables and stuff, but I looked up some of his stuff on YouTube, performing live, and it's like, wow, far out, man. But yeah, Philip Jack, Touch, touch Records. Not much in the way of artwork on here. It's got the track listing and the excerpt is not poem. And then just how it was recorded is right there. It says right here, it says, Sand was recorded live in Holland and England in 2006 to 2007 and edited in Liverpool, January 2008 using Fidelity record players, Casio SK keyboards, a Behringer mixer, and Sony mini disc recorders. So yeah, but it's very cool, very engaging listen. It's very beautiful. I like all this kind of music where it's all these kind of, you don't know what exactly is being played and stuff, and I like the concept of the album, just using like the end of records of beat up old, broken down records that he said he just got in some like discount bins and stuff like that. Very cool, because the end result is very, very interesting. It's very cool. But yeah, you don't have to be like a pretentious, you know, experimental music snob to enjoy this kind of stuff. Like it's very relaxing, very chill, lots of intricate sounds and layers and stuff like that. Very cool album, Philip Jack. Touch records.